Hey everyone, today we're ranking every ugly sweater cosmetic in Dead by Daylight. I believe the only two survivors to not have ugly sweaters are Quinton and Laurie. Now the reason I didn't say all survivor ugly sweaters ranked in the title is actually because both Susie and Joey of the Legion have ugly sweaters also, which we're going to include in this list too. The main things I'm looking for in these sweaters is nice visuals or colour scheme, nice representations of the character who wears them in terms of their personality, and some kind of Christmassy or festive element. Four tiers, average, good, great, and amazing. Let's get into it. Starting off with the average tier, first up we have Nancy's sweater. This one I'm ranking the lowest because it's basically just a sweater. I believe this is directly from the show, which is cool, but I would have liked it if it went in a little more of an interesting route. I believe it's lots of little cupcakes, which is cool, although hard to make out. It's a nice looking sweater, just not so much in the ugly sweater sense, if that makes sense. To follow this up we have Steve. Again, this is like the most common ugly sweater look. It's a little more Christmassy though, and looks more festive. I believe both of these Stranger Things sweaters are from the show, which is cool, although they're still kind of boring in my opinion. Steve's is like the most basic ugly sweater look. David's sweater, I'm not entirely sure what it's meant to be. It's got kind of a rugby theme going on, linking to his backstory where he was somewhat of a rugby star. It's not overly Christmassy, and I feel it's kind of blurry and unclear. With that said, I appreciate it going for some kind of theme. Claudette's sweater is kind of botany or plant focused, with the different plants sprouting from the bottom up to the top. Again, I like that this is going for a clear theme with Claudette's botany. It's nice there's a focus on backstory, although it is still very simplistic and quite plain, and also not all too festive. Nia's one is quite simplistic also, and it's just a lot of cats essentially. It's a pretty nice sweater, but again, not all too festive, and only slightly related to Nia. The link is meant to be because of her cat-like agility, I guess, but I feel maybe a street art focus would have been a lot cooler. Nice colours though, and decent design. Zarinas is closer to the more typical ugly sweater look. It's got common Christmassy colours. It's got little trees and snowflakes too, and some cool patterns. It's got a few hints to her character also, with the camera and the coffee on the back. It's pretty cool, but still very simplistic. It suddenly hits all the points I look for in these sweaters though. Meg's one I like visually. It's a nice nice design, but I feel what's actually on it isn't all that fitting. It oddly has some kind of basketball focus. It feels like this should really be more about running or athletics, but hey. There's a nice little story almost with the front having the ball about to go in, and then the back having it go in. It's also pretty festive, and again, the colour scheme is quite nice too. Elodie's is quite similar to Zarina's in that it hits all the right points, but it's just a little boring. Nice colours, nice and festive, and cool visual representations of her character with the compass and the backpack. Pretty cool, just a little plain. Dwight's one kind of gained some points just because I like the design. I think it's visually interesting. It's not really festive. Maybe you could say the food falling is like snow or something like that. But it looks good and fits his character well. We've got this cool pattern of different foods, pizza, donuts, and popcorn. And they all seem to reference previous jobs he's had. Definitely should be more festive, but it's a cool pattern. Moving on to the good tier. First up in this tier we have Felix. These types of sweaters are some of my least favourite ones. I just think they look kinda silly. I get what they're going for, which is why I don't want to completely drag them, but yeah, they just look really strange to me. This one has kind of a suit thing going on, there's tools in the pocket, and it's basically just meant to look like his base suit just more festive and colourful. Tap kind of has a similar thing going on. His sweater has his bulletproof vest on. I prefer this one a bit because it kind of leans more into this concept of replicating the clothes. It's a bit more kind of cartoony. It's also got the bullet holes which gives it an extra bit of patterning. Also kind of festive with the stars along the bottom. Yep, not bad. Jane's is kind of an odd one as I feel the front especially is quite unclear on what it is. It's kind of like those small cupcakes on Nancy's one. It's kind of hard to make out what this is meant to be. I think it's meant to be a star with her signature on it, with a little crowd at the bottom. The back has an awesome design and references her showbiz background. I also love the colours of this one, and there's a nice blend of showbiz and festive. Kate's kind of goes for a more subtle and simplistic look, but I personally really like it. You've got the horses, the music notes, and the swirly festive patterns at the top. Again, very simple, but it does the job and it's just a visually pleasant design I find. Jonas at first glance is a very typical ugly 
sweater like Steve's. However, it also has a big old brain on the back and a light bulb above it. I really like this one actually. It's a nice blend of festive and Jonah's character. Again, visually it's quite a nice colour scheme too. Very simple, but very well done I think. Joey has quite a typical looking sweater. It's a cool colour scheme, black, grey, red and white. It's also got some nice snowflake patterns on the top and bottom. On the back we get these cool little legion faces, with Joey's big cross that appears on a few of his cosmetics also. I also really like all the mini slashes or tears over this one, especially on the front, to make it look a bit more killery. <laughs> also, the hood is pretty cool. Jake's is quite stylized, honestly. It has a little story on it, like Meg's, with the guy up the tree, probably Jake, on the front, then him falling on the back. It's kind of odd, but I quite like it and I appreciate the different route it went in. Also, it does have some festive reference, with all this happening in a forest full of Christmas or pine trees. Adam's one is quite simple, but I appreciate what they were going for with this one also. It's meant to kind of replicate a chalkboard. This kind of thing I prefer over the Felix and Tap ones, as it represents the character without just doing like a literal cartoony version of their base look. You've also got a little bit of festiveness with the candles and small patterns. Also really nice cream and green colour scheme. Nice little rhyme for you there too. <laughs> now for the great tier. Michaela's one is not particularly Christmassy, but it is quite visually interesting and has probably one of the cooler patterns out of all of the sweaters. There's a cat at the centre, lots of different moons and witchy stuff. There's also a little bit of festiveness I suppose with the big star on the back. I really love this design and the colours especially, all playing up to her magic background. Feng's in a similar way is just visually very cool. I really like the colours and there's a good combo of Feng things but also festive things. You have the little stars, then the snowflake patterns too, then there's the main focus with the controller and the level up. And on the back, game over. I really like this one, very simple but very effective. Susie is next up and this one is fairly similar to Joey's design. I prefer the route this one went in though. There's a nice festive pattern and the pinky colour is nice also. On the front there's this big broken heart that's been tied together with the braces, like her mask usually is. And that's a nice little representation of her character as a whole, in a very simple way. Then we have the cool little legion faces on the back also. Jeff's sweater I love the design of. It's got this heavy metal and festive vibe. There's a big skull on the front and amps on the arms, with lots of these detailed candles burning all over. There's also skulls at the top falling down almost like snow, which is quite creative. I believe that's meant to be a little audience lining the bottom too, and a stage where the big skull is. Very cool in my opinion, awesome colour scheme too. Ash is going to follow him up, with kind of a similar vibe. You have the centrepiece of the chainsaw and the boomstick on the back, and then there's these cute little necronomicons falling down like snow, like Jeff's skulls. There's also some more explicit festiveness with the trees lining the bottom. This is a better version I feel of the sweater replications of the character's base look. It's nicely done here, and doesn't just straight up copy his look, but has these cool little references also. Finally we have the amazing tier. Aces one, I just think the whole design is really nicely done. You've got the quad aces on the front and back, with all the chips lined up behind them. Then there's the four suits and their logos in this cool pattern. At the very top there's these coins falling down, again in a snowy kind of way. There's also a great and quite festive colour scheme. Very solid. Leon's one is a really cool looking sweater I think. Very nice colours, and a good combo of Resident Evil stuff, Leon stuff, and festive stuff. They interlude the zombies, the snowflakes, and the RPD badges really well. There's also a really nice and detailed RPD badge on the back which is cool too. Yui's one is really nicely done. It's got this awesome retro racer vibe and has these great neon pinky colours with the cyan or gasoline green background, paired with the city silhouette. There's a nice little reference too with her lucky hachimaki around her wrist. Then there's also the Sakura 7 logo on the back. There's also small but effective festive elements with the small patterns around the shoulders and wrists. Cheryl I think has one of the best composed sweaters. It feels like something that could easily fit in with her regular look. Its main images are the seal of Metatron and the rabbit on the back, with small Silent Hill elements like the chains and the barbed wire. The sweater also has key festive colours and a really nice pattern with the reindeer, trees and snow. Bill's sweater is really cool and has a great cohesion between all its different elements. It's got the helicopter with the sun behind, the two rifles beside it, and the little pink zombies at the bottom. There's also a lot of the rank logos, many of which on the main portion of the sweater looks like snow. On the back you also have this really cool and detailed zombie hand from the Left 4 Dead logo, really awesome. One of my favourites is a new one which is Jill's. You've got a great colour scheme, then there's the central stars logo surrounded by 
two lightning hawks and the rounds. Jill is spelt out on the back in these little baubles, and there's a nice Christmassy pattern with the snowflakes and the falling snow. I feel the full visual look of this one is just so nice. Yun Jin's I think is my favourite one though. I feel it hits all the points needed for a good sweater. It represents her character well, it's got a good amount of festiveness, and it's visually interesting with its colour and design. The neon and almost glowing colour is really cool. The clash of the leopard print arms and the festive designs of the rest of the sweater are really great also. It's got all kill elements, musical elements, festive elements, and Yun Jin elements. I love this sweater a lot. Alright, well that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and be sure to drop your favourite sweater design down below. Thanks, and goodbye.